Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today I will solve problem 4.21 from the book Design and Analysis of Experiments by Montgomery. Here I have my treatment as tip. There are four tips 1, 2, 3, 4 of a Rockwell hardness tester. The hardness test has been performed on four different types of material coupons that are represented by here in the row 1, 2, 3, and 4. These are the response variable values or the hardness values that are being coded by subtracting 40 from each unit. So first of all, we will do the data input in the mini tab. To input the data in the mini tab, first of all, always remember that we will have to enter the data for the column. So for each tip, we will have four cop coupons. So what I will write here, first of all, I write here tip. That is my treatments. Then I will write coupon. Then I will write hardness or Rockwell hardness value. We ha I have for each tip, I have four values. So I will write here one, one, one and two for the four time. Then I, I want to see that how many Okay, I have four different tips. So here I will write here three for the four times and then four for the four times. Then you can see that for each tip we have four different coupons. So write one, two, three, four, then copy it, copy and paste it here for the three time. Control V here, control V and then control V. Then you will have to write the hardness Please take the values in the form of the row. So 9.3, 4, 6, and 10. So here we go. 9.3, 9 9.4, and 10. So 9.4, 3, 8, and 9. 9.4, 9.3, 9.9. Sorry if I'm not wrong. Let me check. Okay, it's 9.8 and 9.9. 9.8 and 9.9. Next four values are 2, 4, 5, 7. So here we go. 2, 4, 5, and 7. Then we go 7, 6, 10, 9.7, 9.6, Ten and ten point two. Let me confirm. Yes. So the data input has been done. Now we'll do the analysis. For the analysis, go to Stat, then go to ANOVA, GLM, Fit General Linear Model. Here select your response variable as hardness. Your factors are tip and then coupon. Then click on graphs. In the graph, select four in one. Click OK. Then go to results. In the result. Please always select the expanded table. However, by default, the simple table has been selected. So please uh, do care of this because expanded table will give you the percentage contribution of each factor on the response variable. Now, then in order to view the result, click here for the output only. We can see it here, the factor information, two factor, tip and coupon, each of them have four levels. Come down in order to view the residual analysis. The residual analysis is important to satisfy the ANOVA assumption. Now we can see from the graph number one and the graph number two. Although we have a uh, little data because the observation greater than 30, they give us good graphs to interpret or look at our assumption. However, we assume that the data is following following the normal distribution. Then we come toward the second plot residual versus fitted value. These dots are showing the residual value when these points are below this central dashed line. So we can see that the number of negative residual are somehow equal to the number of positive residual that are above this central dashed line. So it means that the homogeneity of variance or the various equality has been satisfied. Then we come towards this fourth graph residual versus observation order. There are no such cyclic pattern or no seven point going above this central dashed line or seven six point or seven point below this central dashed line continuously so it means that data is independently distributed and there are no problem of the multicollinearity in the data then click ok and move up now we will talk about that 
89.66% variation in the hardness has been explained by the tip and the coupon. So now we'll see that whether there is a significant effect among the four different materials with respect to the hardness. So we can see first of all the coupon p-value. Yes, it is found to be zero, less than 0 0.05. 0 0.05 is over significance level or the cutoff value. So it is found to be significant. Further, there is a, perch, a very high percentage contribution of 63.95% of these four material or coupons on the hardness observations. So it means that different materials are, have a different hardness value. Further, the effect of tip, it is also found to be significant. It means that four different tips have a significant effect or significant difference on the hardness values then we come to a little bit down and we can see it here it is the regression analysis equation and it is showing that um the tip one tip two tip three has a negative sign so it means that they are lowering the hardness values results or but the tip value four is increasing secondly the coupons so the first two coupons are reducing the hardness while the second third and fourth coupon are increasing the hardness now in order to check that uh, what will be the graphical result so go to stat and nova then go to again glm here click on factorial plots in the factorial plotter the response will be hardness we have selected over two variable tip and coupon click ok and then we will get our graphs so in the graph we see that the tip number 3 is decreasing the hardness while the coupon number 1 has the least hardness so these two are the good if we want to minimize our hardness values then we come towards the response surface optimizer or optimization so click on stat ANOVA GLM and here click on response optimizer we want to if we want to minimize the hardness because in some of the cases hardness is to be minimized and in other words other ones the hardness is, is to be maximized so click on minimize then click ok so we got over is optimization result it is predicted that tip number three and the coupon number one has the best one with the desirability of 0 0.975 that is too much high this is the graphical representation again the tip three and the one is the best one now it is directed or it is required in the question that we will have to perform a Fisher LST that is a post hoc test. So click on stat then ANOVA one way ANOVA please remember that the post hoc tests are always performed on the treatments. So in this question our treatment is tip and our response is hardness then go to comparison here click on uh, Fisher LST because in the question you can see it here it is uh, written if I come down so Fisher LST so that's why I have ticked on the Fisher then this is most important please always take care of this thing that the tests has been always checked then click OK and then OK so we will get over post hoc test result to view only result click here output only come down and then we will see not this now this is most important that if we ignore the effect of coupon so the tip is found to be statistically insignificant then there is no need to perform the lst however if you see the result of fisher lst number two and tip number one like tip three and tip four all are found to be statistically insignificant because uh so instead of this last one the tip number four and three is found to be at the borderline 0 0.05 is over significance level it is 0 0.049 so because it is too little to the borderline so that's why our p-value is greater than 0 0.05 and there is no statistical press found if you have any question please contact me via whatsapp or via email i will try to answer your queries as soon as possible thanks a lot for watching the video have a good day bye